So welcome to the vlog. This is take number 935. So 934 takes were done in a field with my bike in the rain and they sucked. They were depressing. I kind of said that I wanted to do a serious topic today about mental health and about the downward spiral that I've been in with uh, being injured from running. And But then it just didn't feel right. It was just too negative. So I, and I was just not getting anywhere. So I want to actually just talk about a couple of the positives that came out from me talking a field 1,264 times or wherever it was. And one of them actually came to me, made, I realized it when I was out in the field as well. So here are the two things. The first thing I wanted to talk about was Insta versus reality. Sort of saying, look, I really am not lying when I say that my life sucks. I'm good at three things. That's running, plogging, and being vegan. And that's so true. It's the Insta versus reality, you know, the behind those three things that you see on Instagram, on YouTube, and TikTok, etc., is all of, you know, that's the good stuff. That's the best bits of me. You don't see all the negative bits. That's true. But what I realized was if I sort of say the that Instagram versus reality thing, I'm actually taking away from the positivity of those three things. You know, my accounts and social media is all about positive actions and trying to inspire people. And one thing that is 100% is when you see me on Instagram, that's me being genuine. That's not me faking it. When you see me running and I'm smiling, that's honest. When you see me laughing and, and being all energetic while picking up trash, that is authentic. That's true. That's exactly how I feel. I'm creating a difference. So although I have all this crap behind me, that is inconsequential compared to the, to the trauma and the horror that's in the world at the moment. So even though there's all that crap behind me, what you see here is genuine. So that was the first thing. And the second thing is really interesting. And it only came out from those 2,623 takes that I did in the field in the rain. And that was I realised how important me cycling once a week is going to be. So I've mentioned this before about sort of my strategy to make sure I don't get injured again is, is going to include doing the cycling that I always wanted to do once a week as a, a recovery run, recovery ride after sort of the weekend, like on a Monday. That's so true. But one element I didn't think about it until I was talking in the field, the 3,239 times in the rain in the field was... The benefit of me doing that is not necessary to prevent injury as much as it means I can recover quicker. What's happened is I, when I stopped running, I went straight away into a downward spiral because I had nothing to replace it with. Oh yes, I had cycling and that's been really helpful, but I had to start that from scratch. It was not something I was already doing. So in effect, it was like, oh, that's a replacement. It's, oh, I'm not running, I'm going to be biking instead. Whereas if I was cycling once a week, it would be a case of, oh, hang on, I've got a bit of an injury. I'll, I'm, going to, I'm going to cycle a couple of times this week extra. So it's already something I was doing. It's not something that I had to start up from scratch. And I think that's a simple mindset, but it's a huge mindset. And I think it makes a huge difference in terms of making sure you don't hit that downward spiral. You've already got that tool that you're using. You're, you're not having to, oh, kickstart something. And I think that really shocked me about, well, that's a huge benefit of doing something slightly different during the week, not just doing one thing. Yeah, that one thing that you love all the time. Make sure, yeah, incorporate something else that you enjoy. Cycling, I really love. But if you're already doing it a little bit, it lessens the impact of suddenly having to stop that thing that you truly love. There you go. That's kind of a positive message. That's a lot better than me talking about how depressed I am. <laughs>
but the ankle is feeling so much better. So I think I'm going to be running again uh, sort of on Friday, as I said, I'm really looking forward to it, but I'll be sensible. Anyway, thanks for watching today's vlog. It's a little bit weird, huh? but hey, why not? It's my vlog, it's my rules. So thanks for watching and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Back to the normal positive sporting activities. Bye. <laughs>